The Influence the Media Has on the Public by Scott, Nick, Steiner, and Anthony. Media is everywhere. It's grown, it penetrates the public like that creepy guy wanted to do on prom night in high school, and its mark is clearly shown. The traditional methods of exchanging information, of learning, developing an opinion, of mass communication, have changed from nickel and dime newspapers and radio to television broadcasts and iconic news anchors. Then, like clockwork, the media changes again, moving from the TV to online. Streamed and recorded video clips provide every news story ever covered, and can be found in both text and audio clips somewhere online. What makes the media so effective is their ability to not just bring public and national issues into a broad light, they relay that information in a way we can understand, the equivalent of Einstein writing out all that E equals MC squared nonsense. Then making two cities in Japan go, boom! But the media hasn't lost the gears that made it click. They've kept the iconic news anchors. They keep providing us with stories that feed our interests. And leave us, the consumers, wanting more. And that has a great effect on how we, the public, think. Mass media doesn't tell us what to think, but rather, what to think about. In fact, recent analysis has shown that today's youth obtains their information not from family or friends, but from online sources. The power that the internet and television has for relaying information and helping the common man build his own opinion is a power that has only just begun to be tapped into.